We win! As if you didn't see that coming. Got a Captain Stripe that I'm not allowed to use. Which admittedly kind of sucks. How you doing, Vigoro? Your ship's, uh, your ship's tilting a little bit. Oh, you named the cannon after you? That kind of explains it. Can I help you, Beleza? Okay, Beleza, I beat you in a fishing vessel, okay? Now I have the Delphinus. Your links can't do anything. Oh, also, this is happening. Yeah, they activated another one. Don't know why everybody has to activate every Gigas. That being said, it does kind of... Yeah. It does kind of wreck face. Look, even the camera can't keep up with it. It's fast. Well, ships are getting exploded. That one is upside down. Yeah, you, you might want to run. Leave. Run away. Okay. True boss fight. Hello, Blueheim. Let's play. I am not. I welcome to Let's Play with Blueheim. You know, that would have been more impressive if you actually roared to go with it. Okay. Hey, uh, Marco? Please and thank you. It's gonna be kind of a boring round. Admittedly, this is a really cool attack. I don't know why it didn't just shoot those directly at me and instead tried to do it like a bank shot. Apparently, this Gigas is so bored with the fight that it's doing pool table tactics on me? And this is why it was so important that I, as soon as possible, got uh, the Delphinus upgraded with its weapons, because this fight is already a pain in the ass. See, this one, he actually aims at me. Sure. Ow. The problem with Blueheim is just like every other thing in this area. He has this ability to go way high up and way low down. So you can't always actually hit him. Okay. Yep, it's fast. Okay. So we're going to prep for next turn. We're going to drop an Incremus there. Uh, we are going to... That, that. And we're just gonna, gonna defend. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna try something next turn. I'm actually kind of curious if it'll work. This fight's not terribly difficult. Ow. Oh. 
Are you done? <laughs> I did the base of action too. Both of us just evading nothing. Okay, so Incubus will be up for four rounds. Now it's time to actually do my turn of damage. That's in the damage I haven't dealt yet. That's fine. Okay, what do we got? We got full HP, full spear points. Attack first. Protect from cannon fire. I don't think first cannon fire actually works in this case. Okay. Uh, Vice, you get to fire that. We are going to defend there. Uh, Fina, I need you to use Thermal Grease. No. Huh, I didn't buy it. Hmm. Okay. Never mind then. I take it back. a certain item that they had at the uh, shop that I forgot to buy. Oh, hey, look, he's assessing damage. Oh, hi, friend. Let's talk. Take some damage. So that's 15,000 damage. Look at how little damage I actually dealt to him. <laughs> It's okay, I have a solution for this bullshit. Hello friend, perfect timing. Moonstone cannon, fire. What I'll never understand is why we always broadside them instead of running the shot directly up their spines, which presumably would do extra damage. So now he's going to do that windy bullshit. Do the windy thing! No theory for the side shot? I guess it's easier to aim. Also, you do no damage! Okay. Oh, hey, look! Let's do it again! That was an incredible amount of damage. Like, I don't know how we survived that much damage. And the bank shot! I don't know. I think you might have sunk the four ball on that one. Ooh, damn! That is some good damage! Oh, by the way, kind of an important thing. It's cool. You might not have known, but, uh... You've seen Blue Wins do zero damage? I've never seen that. That would be kind of cool. I mean, it's not as if he's doing a ton of damage to me. Oh, by the way, Blueheim, I forgot to mention. Moonstone Cannon. Moonstone Cannon Fire! Fire. Man, buddy pal friend, you're not looking so good. Well, 
no, but why don't we get behind, like, we frequently put up that we get behind the enemy to fire the Moonstone Cannon, but we're always shooting at their sides. Why don't we shoot up the back, you know? Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop Moonstone Cannon there. Yamato Spirit there. We're gonna heal here. And just in case he doesn't die, we're gonna defend there. But, uh, I don't think Blueheim's gonna last much longer. Ow. I think he's going for the 14 this time. I think he may have pocketed that one. Nice. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know how to play his game. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me see. Eight ball corner pocket. Fire. See, bank shots are all right, but I prefer straight shots myself. It's probably because I'm a lousy pool player. One less Gigas running around, and a Captain Stripe. Yeah, Blueheim is the dragon. Bud. Yes, we did. Also, hi, Kangan. Daigo's here, he wants to say hi. Unfortunately, Kangen surrenders, like, really damn fast. Bye, Valu and Armada. It was nice seeing you again. We'll see you at the next assholes reunion. We have succeeded! We did it. Man, they are so nice about, like, not being pissed at me. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't need the Maga uh, Jewel anymore because he has a good successor already. No longer exiled. And Daigo gives us the Scroll of Polarity. Which will allow us to go higher than the clouds and lower than the clouds, respectively. And Moegi wants to join me. And Enrique will defend her with his life. Mm hmm. And the king seems to understand there's a few more things going on here than he originally saw. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, Enrique will not be, you know, feeding the fishes over and over and over. So, Mueki joins me as the other delegate. Delegate. Well, she is delicate as well. She is a delicate delegate. Forget who's better. Pinta's better. Okay. Okay. 
So that makes us pretty much done with Yafutoma until we come back for discovery cleanup. Um, what is my title? Vice the Dashing. We, we gotta keep an eye out for when we become Vice the Legendary. I don't remember when that will be. It's not a fast forward button. How much money do I have? Lots. Okay. Lovely. We get the Wanderbirds already. I got the Wanderbirds already. Yep. Uh, I believe I have every discovery that is not in the Land of the Blue or in Upper or Lower Sky. Go ahead and buy Dafutome and Alcove. And we're gonna go ahead and like buy five of those. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I got I got uh, kind of annoyed with the Wander Birds because they weren't where I wanted them to be. Okay. have the most pay with the Wanderbirds? So, not the Rolling Stone. Not the not the Ghost Ship. Not the tr Sky Train. Not... I mean, obviously the Golden Hamchoo. But the Wanderbirds? Let's try heading east. If I had to choose one that was the most difficult for me, it has been consistently the Rolling Stone. Welcome back. You went to eat to go eat, I'm going to the east. Okay. So what's kind of weird about this is that we're going east to prove the world is round, but if, and when, when we do, when we do prove the world is round, then we're credit with the discovery, but shouldn't Beleza and Vigoro and company get the discovery credit because they came here first? Or is it that we are the ones that actually went all the way around? We completely circumnavigated. They only went east. They didn't go through the Dark Rift, so they don't know. Uh, I'm considering using the reset strategy as much as I hate it, uh, specifically for those three, just to not take forever. Like for 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 you know Rolling Stone, uh, Sky Train, and uh, Pirate Ship, I'm considering doing the reset strategy. Wait, no, I don't need to be Vice the Legend. Vice the Legend is the final thing. No, yes, no. Wait a second. No, I may need to go check on Ryukon real quick. You know, we're gonna we'll wait on Ryukon. I'll wait on him. 
I think you can get him now, but I think I'm gonna wait until I'm doing post Book of Polarity cleanup. Make things faster. There we go. Yeah, I think I can get him now, but he's in the kind of exact opposite direction of where I am now. Am I familiar with Vex? I've heard of it. Is Gordo's here? Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's get ourselves. I forget. Is the is, is the other Abric Cham here? No, I think it's regular Cham here, right? Domingo and the regular champ. Second Abra champ is from the meat quest. Third Abra champ is the bounty, I think. I think Gordo's is held up by uh by the balloon there. It also may be possible to move the ground around, you never know. Cham 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 cham. No, I don't want to talk to you. Hey cham. There it is. Okay. Hey, Domingo. Yep. <laughs> I know of you. Yeah. You've looked for discoveries. Will you join us? You know, you could you could go help me. Beautiful women or men who are better treasure hunters than yourself? Well, we have beautiful women, and we have found at least 30 discoveries. Okay. There's our second lookout. Now we need to go east. Where am I? I'm there, okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's an interesting conspiracy theory. I, I, I remember that the, the Black Moon's supposed to be able to turn gravity into anti-gravity, but I didn't hear that it's supposed to be able to turn land into air or vice versa, though. I remember that part. Let's go drop by Sailor's Island and turn in a bunch of discoveries. We don't really have to worry about discoveries anymore. Uh, we just have to basically get them. Um, but turning them in gets me money. And I'm going to need that money very, very quickly. Look at all of this money that I have now. I mean, we could we could have more there's the next black spot 
Uh, I'm not gonna do that now. I'll do the next black spot soon. Yeah, that sounds like a lot more science than this game actually does, Yugi. Uh, Doc, where are you? There you are. Here, Doc. Moon fish time. Hi. This game is pure science? Oh, okay. I missed that part. Does it not make sense? No, it really doesn't. Be 100% fair with each other. No, it doesn't. What I get, I was not paying any attention. Oh, the Medulla's idle. Okay. Yeah. They actually talked. <gasps> yep, Doc knew Ramirez as well. The McGillick's idle. Yeah. The McGillick's idol. There were two other idols to go with it that we will also get at some point. The McGillick's idol. The other two idols. You had to have all three, and that got you Pinta. But Pinta just, uh, or and used to get that out of the VMU, but Pinta just joins you immediately now. And I mean, theoretically, he could, you know, pull chunks of mud out from under Deep Sky, but if it's under Deep Sky, it doesn't have the Moonstone pieces that allows it to fly. So... What would be the point? Hi. I wonder how much more it'll grow. A fair bit more. Let's see. Let's figure out how many moonfish I've turned in. There's the ghost male. Sword to Cat, which would have been good. Bang. Uh, what did we get that time? I wasn't paying attention again. Two gold bullion, okay. Hey, Pink Willow's gonna turn. Okay, so where's he? Wow, that was Moonfish number 17 of 24. Damn, I'm doing good. Well, I mean, that's... So, that's the thing. Things like the Sword of Decat, um... You actually technically could get this stuff a lot earlier if you chose to. So it's based on... I mean, it's just based on how fast you get back here. I chose not to come in this direction. So I didn't get these items. Because I chose not to go to dock. You're, what you're supposed to do is every time you get a moonfish, immediately also pick close here. Um, you're supposed to come back and talk to Doc immediately every time you, uh, get a Moonfish. The problem is that a lot of players, like me, we don't do that. We come to Doc whenever it's convenient, but generally we're going in a different direction than Doc is in, so we miss this stuff. So... Oh, but Piccolo will teach you how to, uh, you know, play beautiful music. Very high-pitched tweeting, but... All right. <laughs> uh, 
Now, should have one or two more moonfish on us if I had to make a guess. Get back here. Nope, I'm out. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. We have five more moonfish to find. Also, let's go see if any of that is actually worth using. Getting moonfish in Ixataka, um, which means you have to go all the way around. Uh, getting moonfish in anywhere, really. So Sword to Cat is already worse than the Swarian Blade that I already have. Um, so let's see. Ancient... So the defensive aura uh, makes whoever's wearing it immune to all basic attacks. Really good. And the constitution uh, gem uh, prevents all adverse effects and boost defense and magic defense. So both of these are very good. Uh, let's see. Who's got three spirit, two spirit, two spirit. So Enrique has three spirits. What we're going to do is we're going to equip Fina... Uh, with the def let's give her the Constitution gem. Actually, now that I think about it, and we're gonna give him the uh, Warrior's Heart. That'll get us even more. Hey, okay, and you can't. Uh, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ghost mail actually. We can put it on. I don't mind doing that. A could use it. Nope. I mean, she can, but it's not good. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, I'll put it on. We need to have the Swarian Blade, though. Actually kind of important. Okay. So there's the sword to cat. It's neat. But I actually prefer the blade. I actually like the, the kind of minimalistic design of the swearing blade. And the cross guard's pretty cool too. I mean, having weapons not fall off is good and all? Uh, it might be. Uh, ZMC, you might be right. Um, you know, having weapons not fall off is good and all. But the problem is, in Final Fantasy X, basically you end up getting a weapon and you never take it off because there's never a reason to. It's just, be you know... It just, stuff just turns out to not be amazing, but it doesn't matter because, uh, you know. There's not, there's not a lot to look forward to equipment-wise in Final Fantasy X. I mean, I look forward to the TKO, the Avenger, and the Legendary Weapons. That's really about it. Okay, we're home, guys. We are on our way. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. We sailed around the world. Discovery, the world is round. I want to see more. I don't know, is I thought it would take longer a swashbuckler choice. Enrique's happy, it means he gets to be off the ship for a while. He doesn't have to worry about a seasickness. Now I think this is probably the coolest part. Not the buildings. Not the nonsense. Mm-mm. 
No, 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 no. The coolest part? We have a garage. Okay. Yeah, the place looks amazing. Good job, guys. We will keep on giving you stuff. We can already fly through stone reefs. Oh, well, he's talking about the frozen stone reefs specifically. Yep, join our crew, please. Also, please make this thing look better. Yeah. I forget how long it takes for him to be able to give me that. Also, we have a meeting room. Okay, so we got some stuff to do. Also, Brabham and Ismail have joined as engineer and builder. And where is this thing? Okay. Where are we about to stand for this? Is it right here? Yeah. If you get the next crystal, get the book of polarity. Oh, damn. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to do cleanup. Okay. Okay, so here's our next gunners. Yeah, I was, I was hoping to go and do, like, 100% cleanup real quick, but I'm not going to be allowed to do that. Okay, so first things first, we got the shop. Damn. So now we have some of the best cannons in the game. These are not the best weapons in the game. Better hit, better SP, better limit. Yeah. Definitely the chandelier. Okay. Usually it's whichever gunner is uh, on... Uh... Yeah, it's a very strange weapon stat-wise. So different crew members, if you have them, will be in different places around the uh, around the place. If I remember correctly, it's whichever gunners are on reserve are the ones that are going to be in uh, in the gun shop. Where is this thing? Is it up on the ramp? I think it's up on the ramp, right? Where's it back here? Back here. There's a champ. Okay. So our next step is go talk to Osman. Who's over here? And this place is big, big and empty. Okay, you want more money? Sure. Take that. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, my, I think my understanding is it does less damage, but it has much better accuracy, and you can use it for more turns. So if you need that, it's there. Hey, look, Karala. Okay, let me have you do the living quarters. I don't think... No one's in the tent right now. Why is the tent even here? Yeah, there's no one to be in the tent. I don't know why the tent is here. It's weird. Okay.
Hey, Medif. I actually have not touched 14 uh, since Monster Hunter World came out for a variety of reasons. I need to get back into it, but I haven't been jumping on it yet. I need to finish Monster Hunter World. I, I need to actually go back and do everything. But this was kind of important. Okay, I think I have now done everything I intended to do. Ollie. Don't I have enough money? Oh, right. Okay, I have to remodel it first. Okay, we have to re 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 renovate the kitchen first. We'll figure it out. I'm, uh... I need to finish this first, which should take... Uh, two more days, if I had to make a guess. And then, uh, Nino Kuni 2 comes out on Friday. We'll see. Also, hi, Tika Tika. There is... There it is. Oh, I'm much more than halfway through the game. Much more. Uh, we're... A little bit past the two-thirds mark. Maybe a little bit less than the two-thirds mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting the Delphinus is about the halfway point. And apparently, Vice will now be frozen. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's not a bad that's not a bad time to consider it either. the The end of the end of the time with uh with Drachma is also a good time to think of as the halfway point. But I think if the Delphinus is when you officially change ships. That's why I think of it as the half point. But something good to remember is if you look at the wanted list. Oh. So we have done one, two, three, four. Technically, Balto, or Balto is five. We've already done five of the, what, eight or nine bounties? I thought we did more, actually. Let's see, who's left? Rich dude's left. Lord, Z Lord Bane is left. That's right, and they're left. Okay. Um. Well, I can solve that. Yeah, let's go solve that. Okay, so as ZMC has pointed out, we are now Vice the Fallen Pirate. That's interesting. Fallen Pyre, right? We have Fallen Pyre. We've done nothing but good things for literally everyone we see that is not Valuan. And in fact, we've done good things for a lot of Valuans, too. 